Hello! I'm in the car and we are on our way to our hometown to celebrate uh, Christmas with our families. And the car is just full of stuff, Christmas gifts and uh, clothes and shoes and jackets and all the things. It's so cold here in Sweden and I am freezing so I just had to bring like so much stuff and also it's because we're celebrating Christmas and some outfits for that of course, uh, some workout clothes and uh, lots of other things. I'll see you uh, at my mom's later and we're gonna have some fun doing lots of Christmassy things this vlog so I hope you will stay tuned. <music> Den har ju alltid varit så speciell för mig, ända sedan jag var liten. Jag har haft den här stora lyxen att få fira jul två gånger varje år. En gång på julafton med mamma och min bror Safo. Good morning, I am at the gym in my hometown and I'm about to do some cycling. It's um, Christmas day today and we had a wonderful Christmas Eve yesterday. Um, we were at the gym, we, uh, we made a wonderful dinner, we played games, we opened up uh, Christmas presents and we ate lots of delicious things and uh, yeah, it was just amazing. And today I just really feel like getting some cardio in because I had quite a lot of stuff yesterday that, well, I mean, it's okay to have treats every now and then, but I feel like my body really needs a good sweat so we can get all the sugar out and just anything else that's just lingering in there. So. It's gonna be really nice with uh, a workout and uh, later today we're having some uh, family over for uh, not dinner more like a brunch uh, thing we're gonna have waffles and uh, just uh, chat and uh, it's gonna be really nice because I haven't seen them uh, since uh, well COVID so it's been like maybe three years we I mean we've spoken and things but we haven't uh, seen each other so that's going to be really nice and tonight I'm going to be alone with my mom and we're going to uh, do something fun together. Uh, we'll see what we're going to do but it's going to be nice and just have a mother-daughter uh, evening so I'm looking forward to that. But now it's time to cycle so I have to get started. And by the way it is so beautiful outside. Uh, 
we have a white Christmas this year and I'm so happy for that. And there is the moon, how gorgeous. Look at that. And by the way, I, I met my old gym uh, that I basically, well, it was my second home for about five years before I moved. And it's such a funny feeling to be back here because I had so many, I had so many memories in this spinning room, <laughs> spinning classroom. I, and in the entire gym, of course. I mean, I've been here most days, so it brings up a lot of memories. I've had a lot of good times here, but I've also come here when I've had a lot of issues and I'm just happy that I can be back here and just not be so, not be in that mindset and just be here because it's fun and um, not, you know, force myself to come here. So that's a good feeling, progress. <sighs> okay, I'm done. That was, well needed. I'm exhausted and soaking. Now I'm gonna go and take a shower, wash my hair, and just have an amazing day. But first, some stretching. So pretty. from Christmas. We spent Christmas um, with my mom this year and uh, it was pretty nice to be back in my hometown and, um, and we were there for five days and when we came it had just been snowing so it was really white and fluffy on the ground and uh, my mom had decorated her new home with all these beautiful uh, things and lights and everything so it was like a really nice energy and vibe when we arrived <clears throat> and we had time to do so many uh, fun things together. We were baking on the 23rd. We made uh, bliss balls with dates and we made these uh, chocolate orange uh, cookies and some rice chocolate. And um, on the 24th, of course, we celebrated um, Christmas. That's the way you do it in Sweden. And we had dinner around one or two, and we made, uh, we don't make like a traditional Christmas uh, dinner buffet. We just kind of make something that everyone can eat because I'm vegan, my uh, husband doesn't eat uh, pork, and my mom eats, well, she eats everything, but she doesn't really like uh, the Christmas food. And, uh, well, that's why we've been for a couple of years making like this really nice Christmassy wintery salad with like Brussels sprouts and kale and 
uh, pomegranate seeds and just all the goodies and uh, then you can pair it with like a plant-based meatballs or whatever it is that you like so I just had the salad and uh, mom and my husband had uh, a couple other things along with um, the salad anyway after um, that we uh, watched Donald Duck which is also a Swedish tradition and then we opened uh, Christmas presents and then we had like a nice cozy evening with uh, board games and uh, uh, Christmas snacks so yeah, it was such such a cozy day and uh, the following days we also did a lot of family things we played board games we did a jigsaw puzzle we took walks I went for a super long walk in my hometown um, in the morning on the 26th I think it was and it was freezing I think it was like minus 10 but it was so beautiful and we also did a lot of workouts together, me and my husband, and yeah, it was a nice day, but now it really feels good to be home and getting back to routines because, I don't know, I'm probably not the only one, but the food during Christmas and just getting out of your routines and it just makes me feel uncomfortable in a way. Um, <clears throat> And I think that happens for most of us. And if you are someone who has been or are suffering from an eating disorder, you know how tough uh, Christmas can be. And it's still very triggering for me. And uh, I just need to have uh, different uh, strategies for myself to truly um, manage it and cope. And even though I didn't like overdo it on the food as much as I used to this year I still feel like I really want to get back into routines so I'm really happy to be home I just want to share some uh, gifts that I got with you because uh, I think they're so adorable um, first I got this really cute uh, cup with a Christmas tree and it's from the brand Villeroy and Boch, I think it's called. I can put a link in the show notes. Uh, so I actually tried, uh, I had coffee in this, I had tea in this like yesterday and today in the morning. I love it so much. And my husband also got one, of course. Uh, it's amazing. I love cups and coffee, so can't go wrong with that. And I also got, you know, I like jigsaw puzzles, this one. And I had actually been eye gazing this um, at the bookstore like two days before I went to mom and I'm so happy I didn't get it for myself because she had already gotten it for me so I'm excited to do, to do this one and something else that I got and I love like gifts that are they have like a thought behind them and this one is so cute my mom knitted this for me it's a knitted vest and it's so cozy and comfy comfortable and just that just makes me really happy when you get something that's made from somebody else that they put time into and love into uh, so i'm excited to wear this over like a white traditional oversized shirt or something with uh, black pants maybe i love it and for the last thing that i'm going to show you I was so shocked by this gift and it's so heavy it's the Dyson air wrap I've been wanting this tool for so long and now I have it and I've tried it once but I think I need to try it several times to really get the hang of it um, and I'm also going to book a consultation so I can really see how it is uh, supposed to be used and it's always a struggle for someone who has like the super straightest hair in the world like i can make curls and literally two minutes later they will be straight so it's always a challenge when your hair has that kind of texture and it's super long so i think i need to get that consultation before i master this thing but i'm so grateful for this this is such an amazing christmas gift okay so now when i'm home um and I have a couple of days before New Year's Eve. 
I'm going to focus on really cleaning up and decluttering my home, getting organized for the new year. And uh, we actually, as soon as we got home, uh, I removed all of the Christmas decorations and I also threw out the tree because the tree was dead and I, I couldn't stand watching that for a couple days longer and entering the new year with that thing in our home. So I just got rid of everything. And now there are still some things that need to be organized. I forgot to show you one gift. I got this amazing uh, necklace with an amethyst. It is so beautiful and it goes perfectly with my moon and star necklace. And I love it so much. And I also got another necklace that's uh, shaped like uh, the star sign for Capricorn. And I'm gonna pop in a picture of it here. It is also super beautiful. I just need to really make sure that the energy in my home is prepared for a new year. And I think that's maybe mostly mental, but if you are a person who likes to organize things and you maybe have a lot of planets in Libra, <laughs> I don't know, uh, in Virgo, you know what I'm talking about. So that's what I'm gonna do over the couple in the next couple of days. And um, I'm also going to be doing a lot of journaling. Um, if, I don't know if you've seen it yet, but my previous video, I was talking about my journaling routine. And in one of those books, the Year of Growth book, uh, there are so many pages that are uh, dedicated to a reflection for this year. So now when I'm closing off 2021, I need to uh, fill those out. So I'm going to do that today and just really sit down and reflect and think about everything that has happened and how I've grown and how I wanna step into 2022 and all those things and also think about like the memories that I've have that I have from this year and um, well you know everything just making a little recap for my mind uh, and I'm also going to go to the tailor today and pick up my new year's dress because we needed to fix that a little bit because it was a little bit too big here and yeah, I think that's it. Um, so now I'm going to make something warm and put in my cup and uh, get ready to journal. So right now I'm doing a card spread for next year. So this is the theme uh, for the year. And then I pull cards for each month. And this is December, the last one. Uh, so I'm going to turn them over and read what they have to say. So here it is, my card spread. And it was really cool to read the meanings of every card. This is um, my theme for 2022, Authentic Truth, and I feel so aligned with that. And I resonate with so many of these cards, and I think that December is particularly interesting. Inward revolution, uh, because December is always a month where you reflect and kind of think about all the tests and triggers that you've gone through. Um, another one that speaks really to me is um, the card for January, which is Ask Your Soul. And the reason for that is that I am starting a new project this month that is really in alignment with this Ask Your Soul thing. Um, it's a way for me to, without saying too much, uh, it's a way for me to kind of ask my soul what I truly want to do with my life and start something new that I've been wanting to do for years. So I'm really asking my soul and I also need to need to continue asking my soul while I'm on this journey. So this is really interesting. If you want to do something like this, you just pick a card deck and uh, you pull cards, put some energy into it and just read what they have to say. I mean, it's not that much more complicated. Also, the card deck that I'm using for this uh, is The Secret Language of Light by Denise Jarvie. 
It's a really, really beautiful card deck that I actually got for Christmas last year. This drawer is my panic drawer. And well, this is on my list to declutter and organize, as you can see. This little area is also going to be organized. Uh, these are products from uh, a Christmas calendar that I had during December. So I'm just going to um, put them away and put some in the bathroom cabinet and uh, put some others for storage. So that's going to be fixed. And this is also something random that's happening since we removed all the Christmas uh, decorations here so I'm going to fix this part and my plan is also to tidy up in my closet um, it's pretty organized as it is but there are some things going on here that I just I just need to take uh, the sweaters out and fold them and I'm just I'm gonna see if I can remove something here because everything is just shoved uh, together so that's also on my list and of course, when I add some new products to my bathroom cabinet, I'm going to uh, clean it out and uh, put everything back and make it look a little bit more organized. This is so much better. I'm not really done, but yeah, this is really satisfying. I removed some things and I folded everything um, put these in color sync. Yeah. These are some summer clothes that I'm gonna uh, put away. And these are some things that I'm going to donate. I'm finally done with the bathroom cabinet and I put all the new skincare in here. And up here we have masks. This is one of my all-time favorite masks ever. It's amazing. And I also have some new items here. Like on the right here, I have exfoliants. And here are a little bit more uh, nurturing, calming, and uh, hydrating masks. And on this shelf, I have toners and some, uh, this, this is a mist, some peel peelings and essence. I have um, serums and an oil. And on this third shelf, I have my uh, eye care products. I'm using this one right now. It's really, really good. And I tried this one yesterday. It's amazing. I've never heard of this brand before, but it's a Swiss brand called Dr. Livy. And this eye booster concentrate, you guys, it's amazing. This is also a new product that I'm gonna try. Uh, some face creams and another mask. These two are also big favorites. And here I have some random little masks that I'm gonna try and some tests. And yeah my brushes and makeup tools and just toothbrushes and stuff but yeah overall i'm really happy this is the best part ta-da look at that difference right so much more organized now in the store it's new year's eve today and um i'm feeling really happy about this new year because I've been watching like really inspirational videos about how amazing Capricorns are gonna feel during 2022 and 23 and 24 and I just feel really like amped up and um, I, I always try to end every year as I'd like to start my new one so it doesn't come as a shock if I'm going to make any transitions for the new year. So I'm just trying to keep uh, my routine up these few days. I'm not gonna make any like super big changes, but I, I'm also 
um, pretty, like I don't wanna, I don't wanna get lazy or change things up, you know, the days before um, New Year's because I just don't wanna enter New Year like a couch potato, basically. So I've been to the gym like I always do these few days in between Christmas and New Year's and I've been trying to be as like active and joyful as I can be. Um, there will be a lot of writing and journaling today because I'm going to write um, intentions for the new year and I'm going to pick out my New Year's crystals, uh, crystals for 2022 and um, well, lots of other things and then I have to take a shower of course and get ready for tonight. We are spending New Year's Eve with um, with friends and uh, we're actually going to dress up a little bit this New Year's like last uh, this year and last year we uh, we've been at home mainly due to COVID um, but also because I am not a big celebrator of New Year's because I feel like it's more of a time to reflect and contemplate and just it's not a party time for me but this year I just felt like it could be fun to do something different and actually dress up and if you think about the fact that I want to start the new year as uh, I want to end the new year as I want to feel in the new year that is coming it's pretty good to actually get dressed up and go out because I want to be more social I want to be more active and do more uh, things that I just outside because right now I'm I'm pretty I'm a homebody person like I love to be at home but I also love going out so well it's just going to be fun basically too to see friends and uh, do something different. Um, we're just gonna meet, we're four people, we're gonna make some pizzas and play some board games. And then we're gonna go and watch uh, the, the fireworks. So that's what's gonna happen tonight. And um, of course I'm gonna get ready uh, before we go. I'm wearing a green dress because 2022 is a green year energetically and yeah, I'm looking forward to getting dressed up and I'm looking forward to meeting my friends and I'm looking forward to celebrating the new year. Um, and um, I just want to wish you all a happy new year as well. And just remember that new years are not all about making goals or intentions or manifesting things. I mean, just do what feels good for you. I mean, I know that there is a lot of like pressure or a lot of people are saying that, oh, you have to make new goals and you have to do this and you have to do that. And the truth is there is no <clears throat> nothing that you have to do. And if it doesn't align with you to make any changes now, you don't have to. If you want to make changes in May or in August, that's perfectly fine as well of course it's just that the energies are really supportive for that now so I guess that's why people are um jabbing about it and it's also Capricorn season so Capricorns like me are all about let's let's do this let's make the list let's make the plans let's do it so but don't get discouraged I mean if you just want to party and have fun then go ahead I mean whatever lights you up that's what you're supposed to do that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and like and subscribe if you haven't already. Happy New Year. I'll see you in 2022. Bye.